What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Bikurio, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we are dealing with the transfer targets videos again and today we've got Manchester City. We did the red side of Manchester yesterday and um, we're doing the blue side of Manchester today so hopefully you enjoy. Let's start off with the players that have already confirmed um, that are leaving on a free. And I don't see the point of spending too much time on this, but we've got Willy Caballero, Bakary Sanya, Pablo Zabaleta, Gael Clichy, and Jesus Navas. Now, with Navas, there's only space for one Jesus. There is only one Jesus, apparently. I don't know. I'm not religious. I'm not going to push Gabriel Jesus out, so Jesus Navas had to go. All joking aside, all five of them, I think Pep wants better, can get better, and um, will look for better. Um, but right now, they're not good enough, and um, with the signings they're lining up, you can see why they've got rid of them. The only one I'd question maybe is Sanya, maybe try and sign him a new contract, get him there maybe as a rotation option, a backup option, good World Cup games, or maybe European games as well. Um, but you can understand why he has got all rid of all five. Zabaleta joining West Ham on a free, already confirmed the other four. Their destinations are yet to be confirmed. Caballero rumoured to be Newcastle. Um, you know, never somewhere back in Spain, I believe. Um, it's all, it's all, you know, a little bit of a, a, a wishy-wash situation. But those five, I completely agree with. Then moving on with that, we've got four transfers that City could potentially make this coming window. Hart leaving on a transfer. We've got Eliquim Mangala leaving on a transfer. Sami Nazri leaving as well as Wilfred Bonny. Now Joe Hart is well known. He's not wanted at City. Um, Pep's pushed him out. And uh, with Bravo, it's been a failure. Uh, the new guy coming in, I believe his name is Edison. If that's been confirmed, then uh, I'm recording it when it's not been confirmed. So bear with me on that one. But he has to be a good goalkeeper. Because if they get rid of Hart completely and he's not a good goalkeeper or he's a bit shaky, they don't really have another leg to stand on. Caballero was, you know, a safe-ish pair of hands. But, you know, if you, Edison turns out to be a little bit of a younger Bravo, there could be in a bit of trouble. And as for Mangala, Nazri and Bonnie, they've been on loan this season. I don't think they'll get back into the first team. I can't see Nazri getting back in um, just purely and simply because he's, you know, there are much better options at the club currently um, than him. Mangala, he could do a bit of a rotation job, backup job in the centre-back, but... I feel like Collar of potentially covering there as a fourth centre back and Pep Guardiola wanting to bring in a centre back. Uh, I think his days are over. As to with Wilfred Bonney, Pep Guardiola doesn't play with any sort of strong players apart from centre back. So unless he's going to move to centre back and beat Vincent Company, I don't think he's going to play at the club. So all four of them I can see leaving. Next up, we've got a weird section. We've got three players I believe could go out and probably I would sell if I was Pep, but you've also got to understand. They haven't got many players left in the first team, so they might not sell, they might sell. It depends on what's happening. We've got Fernando, we've got Nolito, we've got Ihe and Nacho. Realised, all three of them, um, oh no, not Kletchio, never mind. I thought they all had one name. Um, but anyway, Fernando, he's not really a Pep Guardiola player. He does a decent job, he's contracted for another two years, thinking they should sell him now, they could get a bit of a fee for him, um, get him along, but he's not a Pep player. He won't be playing first team football, so I expect him to see on the bench the rotation options, the lesser cup games. Uh, but yeah, I think he's a, I think he's a one that's uh, doomed at Man City, put it that way. Uh, and Elisa had a terrible first season. He started off all right, but he's he's had a, he's had a shocker. Um, silly red cards, um, lashing out, not particularly on form. I think Nolito is going to move back to Spain this season or the next season, but. Um, he stays, I feel like he's not going to get much of a first team chance. And I hear that show. I've got this down as a loan or a transfer. Um, a transfer alone, if you know, they want to loan him out to a Premier League club, getting the experience, also first team football, or transfer if they see him potentially not doing too well, but sell him on for let's say 15 million, buy back of about 25. So if he does do really well, they can get him back into the squad and think, right, you're scoring goals now, welcome back to City. But yeah, these three I'd say potentially could be leaving as well. Moving on from that, we've got two goalkeepers in Edison, and you've just seen one outgoing, but Joe Hart, I'm saying if Edison transfer falls through, Joe Hart has to be kept at the club. He has to become the number one. You can train a person to kick the ball. I don't understand it, but Edison seems like a good young keeper. Don't particularly know too much about him, but of course he's been good for Benfica this season. I feel like Pep Guardiola, is that, he's got that sort of um, Pep Guardiola feel about him. But if that transfer falls through for some reason, or doesn't happen, they've got to keep Joe Hart at the club. Make him the first team footballer, because in the end of the day, he's England's number one for a reason. 
So, not much else I need to say about that. If Edison transfer doesn't go through, I think Joe Hart should most definitely stay. Moving on, we've got three centre-backs I believe could do a job in a Pep Guardiola Man City. We've got Americ Laporte, Inigo Martinez and Leandro Bonucci starting off with Laporte. He's been linked here and everywhere um, since Pep Guardiola has joined Man City last season. He was linked and this season, once again, he is linked. And with the fact that Man City said they, you know, Virgil van Dijk wasn't even on the A list of uh, transfer targets, I believe Laporte could be one to bring in. However, I think he's got a release clause of 55 million, so not looking good. But he's a good defender, can pass out from the back, and I think he'll really fit well in the Pep Guardiola style of play. Inigo Martinez is a good player to have. He can play in and around everywhere in the defence and also push further forward in the midfield if need be. Um, good player, can pass the ball. I quite like him and he's very much a Pep Guardiola signing. And then we've got Baducci. I doubt very much you'll be able to sign him because Juventus are looking so strong. Um, and they don't want to get rid of the linchpins at the back. They are getting older, but Baducci's still got a few years left in him. Could you know, teach the defenders how to defend, maybe, at Man City, but a uh, really solid defender, and I think if he does join, could do a really solid job, maybe next to company or next to Stones, just to get him a bit of a sturdiness back, but yeah, could be a really good signing. And now we've got the fullbacks, we've got fullbacks on the right, we've got fullbacks on the left to come, starting off, Kyle Walker, Pep Guardiola signing through and through, can bomb down the right-hand side, gets back, you know, pretty well as well, and, uh, Seems to be out of favour at Tottenham. And if it is the case, then they should sign him. If it isn't the case, then, well, I guess they've got to find someone else. In which I've got two more transfers I think they could make in Sidibe and Eric Heisage. Now, Sidibe is one that's been linked everywhere in the Premier League. They could do a good job. He can play either side of the defence. And um, I think he's a really good sign. He's had a good season at Monaco. Won the league there. Why not try and come over and try and win the league in another country? Um, for another team, so yeah, there is that one. Also, Eric Heisad is one that I've, I've quite like. Eric Heisad is a player. He's really good, really solid. You know, really good at attacking, also good at his defensive work as well. Um, although he's, con I think his contract runs out of 2021, so it could be a pricey, tr pricey transfer. Really good young player. So I'd say either of them two, if they don't get Walker, but Walker I think has to be the main priority there. And now we've got the left backs. We've got Mendy from Monaco, who again has to be the priority for me. Although, as I'm recording this, the deal had been reached apparently, but now it seems like it's stalling, so looking at alternatives. But Mendy, I think, has to be the priority. If they can get both fullbacks, maybe Sadibe and Mendy, it gives you that, um, you know, they've got someone that joins that, you know, they know, so they can settle in all right. But fullbacks that can work, you know, in cahoots with each other. Really good. The other two I've got here are Rodriguez from Wolfsburg and Guy up from Valencia. Uh, Rodriguez is an experienced centre back, but a young centre back. He looks really good on the ball, and he's got a good passing game to him. He's great, you know, technically can have a decent shot as well. Pretty much like a younger Alexander Kolarov, just a bit more pace about him. Um, but yeah, Rodriguez looks like a really good sign if I could make that. And also Guy, really pacey. He's got that, you know, sort of that Spanish passing way about him. And uh, I think Pep Guardiola would like him. Also, you've got players like Danny Rose, um, like Ryan Bertram. Ryan Bertram we mentioned a lot. But I feel like Mendy has to be a priority, if not those two. But also, you know, Bertram will help with their, you know, homegrown rule. I think they're going to lose a few players from, but um, could really help Man City this season. And as you may have seen, they're already light on the defence. Um, the fact that they've released four or three defenders, um, they're light on the defence. Um, I'm only mentioning, you know, maybe one centre back, one left back, and one right back. These are the four youth players I think could do a decent job. Now, I don't know much about Man City's youth, so please update me if I am wrong. But uh, we've got Tosin Adabayo, Ad Adarabayo, sorry again for pronunciation. We've got DiMarco Dehani, Pablo Mafio, and Angelino. Now, all these four players have done well, or pretty good job in the under-23s this season for Man City, and I feel like if Man City are going to be building that Pep revolution, if they are going to keep Pep there and keep this style of play and build a football team, they need to start pushing these young players through. And they are young. They're going to be homegrown before they reach 21. So it's about time they start pushing those young players through. Get them in late on in games. Get them in the cup games. Get them in maybe even Europe for a few, you know, maybe even group stage games. But you need to start buying them. Not buying, but bringing in those youth players that they've got, otherwise it's just wasted talent and it just becomes Chelsea's youth system, but those four I feel like could really do a job in the first team. 
Next up, we've got two rather defensive midfielders in William Cavallio and Camacho from Lisbon and Malaga, respectively. They're both good defensive options and leaves you, you know, sort of a bit more opportunities there. Although they've got Fernandinho, Fernando, I think Gundogan can play there. You're looking at Delft maybe as well. Uh, they're Jaya Torre. It's quite packed there. Uh, but I think if Delft could leave, you're looking at Fernando maybe leaving. I didn't mention Delft because I feel like he might not stay because of the homegrownness. But if you lose them two, you're looking pretty light on there. Fernandinho maybe covering the fullback situation. Um, I feel like William Cavallio or Camacho, either of them could do a good job. And lastly, you've got the attackers. Probably the least worrying thing about Man City. They've got them in abundance if Nelito stays. Again, he could still come good. Nazare could still do a job for most Premier League teams, so they don't need to sign players, but Pep does want to. He's already signed Bernardo Silva from Monaco, as you see on the screen. He's a Pep kind of attacker him. The other two I've identified, because I really don't think they need to sign any more attackers, is this guy Sanchez. Just because world-class quality. It's rare you can buy world-class quality, Isco, I think he's got one year left on his deal. As to as Sanchez, could get him for decent prices for the world-class quality you're getting. Um, but yeah, they would add that extra sort of touch on the Man City attack with the players like Aguero, De Bruyne, Silva, um, Sane there, Bernardo Silva now. The attack, if they sign one of them, if not both of them, could be insane. And I think, to be honest, the attack they've got, it doesn't matter who they're playing in the defence, they'll outscore opposition. And um, I think Man City blitzing the league. Well, that happens to be that for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Would you like, comment, and subscribe? And let me know who would you get rid of and who would you sign in the Man City squad. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Would you like, comment, and subscribe? Update video coming tomorrow. And peace.